Here's the latest from Earth Now. This display shows the NOAA Climate Digest for December 2012. The Climate Digest summarizes noteworthy statistics for the month, season, and year. Although December was not unusually warm globally, 2012 as a whole was the 10th warmest on record and was the warmest year on record for the United States. December 2012 was also the 10th warmest December on record for the contiguous United States. Argentina experienced many severe storms during the first half of the month, causing flooding in the eastern part of the country. The average December high temperature was the fourth highest in Australia's 63-year record. A large area from eastern Europe and northern Russia experienced cooler than normal temperatures during December. Russia, for example, had temperatures as low as 15 degrees Celsius below average, leading to its coolest winter since 1938. Meanwhile, the United Kingdom experienced its wettest December since 1999. Now, we'll turn to the Arctic sea ice extent. The December sea ice extent for the Arctic was 8.7% below the 1979 to 2000 average. This makes it the second smallest December ice extent on record, behind 2010. Finally, we'll travel all the way to Antarctica and discover that its sea ice extent for December was 1.5% above the 1979 to 2000 average, making it the 16th smallest or 18th largest ice extent on record. This real-time data set is updated monthly and shows the global land and ocean temperature anomalies. Anomalies are simply departures from average. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal temperatures whereas red colors indicate warmer than normal temperatures. White indicates around average conditions. We'll take a look at three areas. First, we can see how the eastern United States was much above normal for December, leading the entire country's average for December to be warmer than normal. We can also see the warmer than normal temperatures in Australia, as well as the large area of very cold temperatures in the Eurasia region. This real-time data set shows sea surface temperature anomalies measured by NOAA satellites. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal ocean temperatures, whereas red indicates warmer than normal sea temperatures. In the eastern tropical Pacific, water temperatures hovered right around average, meaning that no El Nino or La Nina conditions are present. The Climate Prediction Center expects this to continue through at least the northern hemisphere spring. Notably warmer than normal conditions were present, however, in parts of the Pacific Ocean, most of the Indian Ocean, and the eastern and central regions of the Atlantic Ocean. This real-time data set collected by microwave sensors on NOAA satellites shows snow and ice cover updated daily. Watch the progression of days and note the changing seasons. In the northern hemisphere, the snow and ice extent begins to expand as winter takes hold. The snow cover extent for December 2012 in the northern hemisphere was much above normal, at 3 million square kilometers above the average. Above average snowfall was observed for much of Eastern Europe and Northern Asia, where the cold air we mentioned was in place. And that's your December 2012 Climate Digest. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video.